We're going to see Bride of the Gorilla next. Uh, let's look at the uh, schedule first. One thirty, so we're still, um, we're still like fifteen minutes away from uh, Bride of the Gorilla. Korean Chris says, "Here we go." Bride of the Gorilla, starring Raymond Burr, and uh, I don't know who else. Um, Chris says that just sounds terrible. Yeah, this is a, another film that was shot in 3D. I, I did find um, a 3D copy online that I downloaded, but the black, but the the blue and red colors weren't working right. I could never get it to work right. Uh, so uh, I've just got a, a flat black and white copy. Um, and again, for for anyone uh, just now coming in, I don't think there's anyone coming in, but we're showing uh, bad gorilla movies all day for 12 hours. We're all, we're just uh, wrapping up hour four, so we're a third of the way through this. Um, before we get the next uh, picture started, though, like I said, we've got 15 minutes or so till then. I want to remind everyone that we are uh, that we are raising money. There's a list of our uh, monthly expenses up top, and we have a special fundraising thing going on for new equipment and things that we need. Uh, you can uh, you can make a donation at the PayPal address on screen, or uh, if you scroll down, uh, there's a donation link below the video. And it comes up in the Twitch chat uh, periodically. We have twenty dollars so far, so that's ten percent toward our two hundred dollar goal. Uh, Chris and uh, uh, Ivory both donated; uh, they each donated uh, ten dollars. Before we go on to the next uh, film, I'll kill the next uh, ten minutes or so with a cartoon. Uh, we will actually have something entertaining here. <laughs> Yeah, this will be fun. <clears throat> oh, $20 from Carissa. That's very generous, Carissa. Oh, $40. That's 20% toward our, toward our goal. She doubled. Directed by Robert McKinson, one of my favorite Warner Brothers directors. Very underrated. Wait, that was it? Okay, I did not that I did not remember that cartoon ending so abruptly. <laughs> anyway, something actually entertaining. Uh <laughs> Yeah, Chris, wait, come back. This was a funny one, yeah. Well we're gonna have to get on with it. Uh with the Bride of the Gorilla. We're uh, about four minutes early. I'm going to start it and then I'm going to make myself some soup and I'll uh, um, I'll eat. I'll sit here just off camera and eat. I don't want to eat on camera, but I need to eat. I've, I've been sitting here for four hours. Uh, so let's start Bride of the Gorilla from... Uh, let's see, did I do this right? Okay, The Ape Man, Bride of the Gorilla. Yeah, 1951. Starring Raymond Burr. Jack Broder. We're going to see his name again more than once. He, apparently he had a thing about guerrilla movies. Lon Chaney. I forgot Lon Chaney's this one. This was shot in 3D like I was saying. And you can tell by the way they have this scrolling 3D background. Okay, I'm gonna get my. Uh, I'm gonna get my soup. I'll be right back.
jungle, lush, green, alive with incredible growth, as young as day, as old as time. I, Terrell, police commissioner of Itnan County, which borders the Amazonas River, know it as well as any man will ever know it. Isn't it beautiful? But I have also learned that beauty can be venomous, deadly, something terrifying, something of prehistoric ages when monstrous superstitions ruled the minds of men, something that has haunted the world for millions of years, rose out of that verdant labyrinth. Let me tell you how the jungle itself took the law into its own hands. This was Van Gelder Manor, built to stand against the searing sun, built to shelter generations of Van Gelders. It also has become prey to the powers of the jungle, that terrifying strength that arose to punish a man for his crime. day. Your husband pays me to run his plantation, not to be killed by the heat. It's part of the job. Rubber's going up in price every day. I can't get enough workmen. When I do, they run away to go into business for themselves. Oh, when they had slaves. Aren't we all slaves? Sure. Not me. I'm free. You call this freedom? With bars in front of the windows? No, thank you, Lavina. No place for a beautiful woman. A woman like you ought to travel, wear pretty clothes, have some fun. Life runs away too fast if you don't hold on to it with both hands. My life is here with my husband. After all, he did offer to share his name and his home with me. You're confusing gratitude with love, Mrs. Van Gelder. There are other things much more important. A woman wants to be loved. Hello, Klaus. Hello, Doctor. Nice to see you, Dina. I was looking for you, Bonnie. You should have been at the warehouse. The heat got me down, Mr. Van Gelder. There was an accident, Bonnie. A man got hurt. They always get hurt. That's the chance they take. This one died. You wouldn't have died if you'd been there. I can't be in two places at the same time. Don't fight before dinner. Pardon me, Dina. White people shouldn't live too long in the jungle. It brings out their bad side, their jealousies, the impatience. Class isn't well. I told you, it's, it's his low blood pressure. You can hardly hear his heartbeat. I haven't had a chance for quite a while to get that close to his heart. Dina, it's his complaint that you neglect him. You don't understand him. Does he try to understand me? He's only too happy being left alone. He likes to read his books without me around to bother him. If you were married, you'd act differently, wouldn't you, Venus? I was married once, long ago. You wouldn't know either, would you, Barney? Come again? I was just talking about marriage. What do you think about marriage? Marriage is a contract, a civil contract, isn't it? You mean it has nothing to do with love? It's a relation either of sympathy or of conquest. But every couple isn't a pair. You must have read that somewhere. Sure. Everybody knows I can't think of anything clever. I, too, am not clever, Barney. But I know where to find wisdom. <clears throat> okay. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways, 
and according to the fruit of his doing. Okay, I've only been gone for six minutes. I missed a musical number? A case of smallpox down in the harbor class. I think it'd be wise to inoculate all your workers. Do you know about the complaint of that worker and his daughter? It's my own business, Mr. Van Gilder. You're living in my house. I demand that you conduct yourself accordingly. You've not done so. Oh. You can pick up your pay and leave. It's all right with me. Dang. What's the matter? What are you mad at Barney for? I don't want him here any longer. You mind if I have my dinner first? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Scintillating conversation. Stay here. What's gotten into him? I'll find out. I'm going to sit off. I'm going to turn off the mic. I'm going to sit off camera here and eat. No. I'll talk to you all I'm in a few. Enough not to be pushed around by anyone. I don't like his spies. That old woman, Al Long. Ten to one, she gives him a report every day. I want to be treated right, that's all. Just because he has money doesn't mean he owns me. Do go away. Don't leave. That's all I need to know. want to take dinner with you. Be quiet. Don't leave me alone. You shouldn't excite yourself. What do you want me to do? Smile? Keep my eyes shut? You do love her, don't you? Without her, I have nothing. You got rid of Barney Chavez, that was right. But still, I'd take her away from here. It's the climate. A woman buried in a place like this, uh, you must understand if she gets a little mixed up. You too like her, don't you? Of course. She looks good to any man. That's a compliment to you. Listen to who's giving advice. My private life isn't perfect either. But then, I live alone, so nobody cares. That makes the whole difference. Barney Chavez. He's like a beast. An animal with animal instincts. I never thought, Tito, that it would come to this. You better go to bed. I should, too. I don't like to see you taking so little care of yourself. But you'll be all right. Thank you, Gert. Good night. Good night. Marina. Marina. What happened? Talk to me, my child. Bonnie. He lied to me. He doesn't love me anymore. I want you to stay with your people. But he will never hurt you again. Never. talk to you. I don't care to listen to anything you have to say. You chose your time to talk, Van Gelder, in the presence of your wife, your doctor, and your servants. What I have to say, I wanted to say to you alone. All right. Go on. I've done a lot of good work for you. 
Anything else? You read from the Bible tonight, Van Gelder. But you didn't finish what you were reading. I thought I'd made myself clear. It goes on. Let them be confounded that persecute me. Bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. I'm glad you remember something out of the Bible. A man sometimes gets in a spot where he has to make a big decision, Van Gelder. My decision's been made. Mine too. You're standing in my way. And Dina's. Did she ask you to tell me that? We love each other. What are you going to do about it? Tell Klaus, I'm not afraid to talk to him. He can't hold you here. This isn't a prison. Where will we go? Does it matter? I can get a job any place. Nobody will hire you around here. They all know Klaus. And they stick together, you know that. The world's a lot bigger than this jungle. Bonnie, I'm afraid. Okay, I'm back. I saw the whole thing this time. So Raymond Burr is supposed to be playing a Hispanic character. Chavez, that the last time you saw Mr. Van Gelder was in this room? You have it in writing. Yet footprints the size and shape of your own were found near the body. Are you sure that you weren't in the garden last night? Why don't you come right out with what you want to say, Commissioner? Why don't you ask me if I killed Klaus Van Gelder? You know, I had a quarrel with him. You got witnesses for that, haven't you? I have, that's true. But the evidence I have is not strong enough to bring charges against you. What is your That's Lon Chaney. Yet? Klaus van Gelder died from uh, shock and suffocation caused by snake venom. He was a sick man. It may well have been that he had a fainting spell in the garden and the snake attacked him. Anyway, that's my official report. And your private opinion? My private opinion... is of no value. It might have been that during a struggle, Mr. Chavez knocked Mr. Van Gelder down. The snake bit him. These reptiles often attack when frightened. The doctor just told you Van Gelder died of suffocation caused by snake poison. That is official, isn't it? You have a discoloration on your jaw. A fight, perhaps? Yes, with one of my men. What about? Why don't you stick to the point? Why don't you arrest me? I would, but for one thing. These leaves. 
They come from a plant called the Pediguan, the plant of evil. Do you know about such a plant? <laughs> no. The plant of evil. These leaves worry me. They're used to put an evil spell on people. Now listen, Taro, don't accuse me of using magic. I don't. Along, would you come here, please? I want you to answer me truthfully. What do you know about Mr. Van Gelder's death? He was bit by the snake. He was? How do you know? I saw it. You did? Then did you also see Mr. Chavez? No. He was in Mrs. Van Gelder's room all the time. <laughs> Is this true, Mrs. Van Gelder? Yes. He came to say goodbye. Do you know? This would seem to prove that Mr. Chavez <coughs> had nothing to do with Mr. Van Gelder's death. How long? Where is the plant that these leaves came from? You know it's against the law to own such a plant. It's dangerous poison. You can't make a talk, Terra, unless she wants to. You know that. Oh, I know. I guess we'll have to search her room. Nato, take her along to her room and search it for a paid iguan plant. As you say, there's no use asking her questions. I sometimes feel as though I don't even speak my own people's language. Since I became an official, I, I seem to be standing outside their code of law. <laughs> nice the inquest is closed. Nice soliloquy there. Very heartfelt. It's here in the chest. like to have such a plan for your own there's a lit candle inside the chest it was of sickness keeps away the evil spirit brings money into the house i must destroy it how long but his power also brings evil if you hurt it you are cursed your wife will fall sick your children die dang I bring <clears throat> such a plan to your house tonight. No, I don't want it. I don't believe in black magic. Don't tell anybody I have such a plan. No, I won't. But you keep away from my house. I don't want witches near my children. <laughs> For some reason, this looks like Spock's quarters in the Enterprise. <laughs> I don't know why that's making me think of <laughs> something to do with the, that that weird lighting, I guess. Hello. Thanks. I'm Hel glad Hello, you. thanks. I didn't want you to get involved. That was lucky, wasn't it? try everything once. Once I marry, I'll stay married. I've been married for 26 years. I keep my marriage going. My wife does the rest, and believe me, we both have to work at it. Is it really true you've been a dancer? Stella's not polite to ask questions. 
Why not, Mrs. Van Hoysen? Yes, I've worked all over the world. Rio, London, Paris. Oh, I've never been to a nightclub. It, it must be exciting. Where is this supposed to be? Father Mask. May I drink? May I drink to your neighbor? We're only 40 miles apart. That's practically door to door in this part of the world. Well, I see you're getting service in your house. Here's the good service. So he's the master of the house now? I guess because he's marrying the the blonde chick? I... I'm very unlucky. Every time I meet an attractive man, he's either married or just going to be married. Better luck next time. Excuse me, Doctor. Just be you and me. Nothing else matters. Nothing. Promise? Oh, yes. I do. I've come a long way to find you. Red flag, lady. What's all that about? <laughs> Mr. Chavez. Yeah, what's all that about? Prepared. All you have to do is sign them and pay for the government stamp. Every step in life starts with paying money. No. You sign first. I'm afraid you might change your mind. How shall I sign? My maiden name? Your legal name, Van Gelder. What? I don't see anything wrong with it. It's all right. Yes, it's all right. But it hurt. Suddenly it hurt bad. Where did it hurt? In the fingers? Or... I'm all right, don't worry. I'm all right. Let's go back. No, I... Tell him I got sick. Tell him I got a fever. Tell him anything you want. You better lie down. I'll send Dina in. No, I don't want to see anyone. You're sure you don't want to see him? No. Now, leave me alone, will you? All right. A recording of a loon falling out there. I believe that was a loon. Don't you like me? <laughs> of course I like you. Pour me a glass. This movie isn't going to make a lot of sense, is it? <laughs> Something's bothering you. <laughs> you saw you married me? No. Why should I be? I never thought I'd have such a beautiful wife. You've changed so much. Oh, no, I haven't. I haven't changed. Listen, Dina. Listen. What is it? The jungle. Close the door. I don't want to hear it. No. Sounds like music. You hear that? You hear that high sound? That's a bird with long red feathers. It flies without making a noise. 
But its voice gives it away. I know it. It's the Vicuna bird. I even hear the snakes. I, I have to leave. Bonnie, you've got a fever. No, no, I haven't. The Vicuna bird. But I have to leave. Well, you can't go in the jungle at this time of night. Is that night. a real thing? You hear them? It's just screaming. Yeah. <laughs> go to bed, Dina. I'll be back soon. If you love me, don't go. I'll be back. Barney, you can't leave me. Barney! <laughs> Vicuna is like a It's like a small llama, like a small alpaca. Well, not a bird. <laughs> Stock footage monkeys. <laughs> okay, so Raymond Burr is the gorilla. Take him into the house quickly. When I was talking about the, the movie schedule um, the other day with Mike, um, I mentioned that uh, Bride of the Gorilla starred Raymond Burr. And uh, he commented... So Raymond Burr is, is the gorilla. And I was like, no, Raymond Burr isn't the gorilla. No, of course not. There will be a gorilla, I'm sure. But apparently Raymond Burr is the gorilla. Yes, he complained about his hands before. But the things he says don't make sense. The things he says in his fever? Of course not. The face. Face in the water. Face. Watch out! That's all we can do for him now. He'll sleep now. <laughs> Give him quinine when he wakes <laughs> He said Godzilla, and then he said Ironside, and then he died. Okay. Very. Barney loves me. It's the difference between my two marriages. And I love him. Class was my friend. What do you want me to say? I've already told you I'm unhappy, but he had to die such a horrible death. At such a convenient time. Yes, at such a convenient time. Cross-side of shock and suffocation. 
Or would you like to change your diagnosis? I know the cause of Plas's death, but not the motive. An accident. How long saw it happen? She may have been lying. It was an accident. It must have been, since Barney was in your room at the time. And you wish that wasn't the truth? Yes. A woman always knows a man's feelings about her. It's no use for you. <laughs> Barney's my husband. <laughs> Does she? Or worse. Dina. Barney's going to be all right. I'll stop by in a few days. You know where to find me if you need me. Thank you, dear. Good night. Good night. Hello, Tara. Hello, Doctor. Come in. Am I interrupting important affairs of state? No. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. SOS Polo. Si, senor. Have you heard of this... Uh, big cat that's supposed to be around. <laughs> of course. Some say it's a puma. Others, a giant ape. And still others say it's the sucara. A sucara? It's a new kind of animal to me. That's a famous jungle demon that tears living animals to shreds with its claws and then feeds upon them. Has been known to attack humans also. Well, it hasn't so far, I hope. No, but I'm sure it will. You're sure someone will use this rumor to kill somebody. Blame it on the Sukhara. <laughs> it's happened before. It has? I closed the Van Gelder case today, officially. Death due to suffocation caused by snake venom. That's your report, Doctor. It's not my opinion. But, of course, my opinion doesn't seem to carry much weight in this case. <laughs> After all, you're... You're only the police commissioner who would be interested in your opinion. You know, Doctor, I was born in this little town. I know. I sometimes regret that I went to university and then returned to this jungle with its superstitions. It only served to confuse me. You never impressed me that way, Taro. How can I help being confused? My native mind is filled with these superstitions. My legal mind was developed through books. Written by people without emotion. Yes, but uh, justice must detach itself from emotion. Oh, that I realize. <laughs> but I know that Barney Chavez <laughs> murdered Van Gelder. I know it emotionally. I should arrest that man and charge him with murder. Why don't you? The case I have is not tight enough to get a conviction. I know that Al Long lied to protect him. But I also know that he cannot escape punishment. Why? The Sukhara. The Sukhara? The jungle demon? <laughs> Taro, you're joking. You don't mean it. Barney Chavez will be brought to justice. The jungle will see to that. Well, the longer I live here, the less I understand you people. <laughs> now drop in again, Doctor. Hello? Uh, this is the commissioner. Well, Mr. Van Hoysen. On your plantation? It's killed already? Well, oh, this is serious. Yes, I'll be right over. Immediately. Goodbye. Senorita, mi pistola. What's all that about? <laughs> Three rubber tappers have already seen the sucara. They have. I told you it would be like this. And here it is. It's killed already. Next time, it might be a human. What does it look like, this uh, mystical animal? It takes various forms. But seriously, Doctor, why don't you come along? Talk to the people that have seen it. It'll enlarge your knowledge. And we might meet a man of your profession about. Well, I wouldn't miss having a look at it for the world. These fools hadn't trampled all over the place like a herd of elephants. We would have found footprints. Mm -hmm. Necks been broken. Teeth marks. Hides been torn to shreds. You. Come over here. Did you see this animal? Yes, I have seen the animal. Was it the jaguar? No. No, doctor. 
It was huge and red. Red? Yes. It has a head like a man and teeth like an alligator. <laughs> what did I tell you, mm. Doctor? The Sukara. That it was. My wife saw it too. For a couple of nights, it was sneaking around our hut. It walks in his hind legs. Like a man? No. <laughs> like a beast that walks like a man. Oh, that terrible voice. Not only I have heard it, my friends here have heard it too. Well, there's only one thing to do. Set traps and see if we can catch the beast. We have put many traps all along the fleeting and in the jungle. Well, what did you use for bait? Young goats. Well, if you catch the sukkarath, just call me. I'll sell it to a circus and make a fortune. So according to Wikipedia, this is a, a just a generic South American nation of some sort. <laughs> Thunderclap. Raymond Burr. <laughs> hiding in the closet is that she, she seems to be everywhere fire. What's he doing in the jungle? Hunting. Hunting? He didn't take his gun along. He hasn't need one. We came to warn him that the rubber tappers have set traps in the jungle. What for? There's a strange animal about it. It's killed many cattle already. What kind of a beast? It's an unusual animal. It walks on its hind legs. Don't forget. Warn Mr. Chavez to be careful of traps when he goes in the jungle. Come, come, Taro. Next thing you're going to say is that Barney's the jungle demon, the Sukkarat. The Sukkarat <laughs> is only a symbol. Yeah. Don't be a comedian. What are you talking about? You better take Barney away from here. And what if he doesn't want to go? He'll go if I ask him. But I wish I knew what he was doing out there. Mrs. Chavez, the next time he goes into the jungle, mm -hmm. why don't you yeah. come him and find out? <clears throat> but if you should, be sure and go well on.
This, uh, this is moving along. We're well over halfway through. Yeah, this one's much more entertaining. Jeez. I can't get out. Give me that gun. Just don't stand there. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Does he use his crutch? Stay here. I'll get help. No. You're hurt. Let me cut off your boot. Where's Lorena? I haven't seen her. You mustn't get up. Well, I'm all right. That old woman really knows her stuff. Much better than your quack doctor. I think I'd better call my <laughs> quack doctor just to make sure. No, I don't want you to talk to him. I don't want you to talk to anybody. I told you nobody should know. Why quack not? doctor. It's not your fault. Anybody could have stepped into that trap. Anyone but me would have known. The quack doctor, he, he has his office down the hall me. from the witch doctor. I, uh, I heard something. Something I never heard before. Something strange and beautiful. A voice calling me. I couldn't resist going out there. I couldn't resist getting closer and closer. The next thing I knew, I, I was in a trap. Oh, let's go away. I wanted to, right after class. Right after. But I didn't dare. The people... I don't care what the people say or think about us. The past can't hurt us once we're out of here. I don't care what the people say. Right away. Tomorrow. Remember I told you once a woman like you ought to travel? Let's go to Paris. Now, I've never been there. I'll buy you clothes in Paris, and then we'll go to London. And I'll buy you clothes in London. Bonnie, I love you. Please don't let anything happen to us. Darling. What is it? It's nothing, only... Just sit down in the jungle. As long as I could remember. I knew I'd get hurt if I ever stopped fighting. But with you in my arms... As long as you hold me. As long as we're together. I know, I know. I love you, Dina. For the first time in my life, I'm not afraid of saying...
cue the uh, theme from Breakfast Club. Don't you forget about me. you leave, Bonnie. I haven't left yet, Doctor. I'm still around. Where are you going to live? I hear Dina's mad about Rio. Oh, we haven't made up our mind. <laughs> don't question him, Doctor, or he might reconsider selling the plantation. I don't think so. The papers are already drawn. Taro will be here any moment to notarize them. You can rely on Taro. He's around when you need him. Or when he thinks he should be around. He has an intuitive sense. It's quite uncanny. There he is. Talk about him and he pops up and never fails. How can you stand the jungle this long, Doctor? <laughs> I can't. But I signed a government contract for five years. It'll be over soon. Well, let me have a look at you. What's the matter? <laughs> Your eyes, the pupils, they worry me. Nothing wrong with me. Hey, back off, dude. How are you, Commissioner? Oh, as well as can be expected. I'll be glad when the rains come, though. Well, I have the papers all drawn up. All they lack is your signature. What was that all about? He's all smiles. These are the final papers I must sign. We do not sign the final papers. That's right. What? I sign them. I am the coroner. Exactly. This is all, madame. Uh, okay. This is the chair for you, Lorena. Thank you, madame, but Alon doesn't like me to wear this kind of clothes. Then throw them away. Come in. <laughs> throw them away. Hello, doctor. Now I'm sure you're leaving. I didn't quite believe it before. The doctor's always here. Oh, what? Words often don't mean much, but when you see it, why... Uh... While well, you'll be seeing us in Rio, didn't you tell me you were leaving the government service? Yes, in a few months. This is for you, Lorena. I think you'll find use for it someday. Isn't that the dress you wore with Mary Clark? Well. Yes. Wow. Well. <laughs> Past is dead, be it. Stone dead. <laughs> and I don't want to be reminded of it. I'd like to speak to you alone for a few minutes. What's the matter with you? I'm sorry, madame. That's all, Lorena. What's wrong? You look serious. I'm worried. About me? No. About Barney. He's not well. It's the fever. He'll be all right once we get out of here. Uh, tell me, Dina, does he take drugs? <laughs> Why not? That's all. I watched him today. His eyes. What's the matter with his eyes? Dilation of the pupil. Certain drugs cause uh, optical atrophy, uh, sympathetic irritation, or weakness of the ocular nerve. I don't understand a word. He uh, looks to me like a man who's been poisoned. Poisoned? I'm sure of it. I'd like to examine him, but... He'd never stand for that. I know. It's almost impossible to make a diagnosis without chemical uh, analysis. But all the symptoms seem to point to the fact that... Wait here. I'll get him. Does he, does he take drugs? He... he a tweaker? Here I am with a hundred thousand in cash in my pocket, waiting for a man to pick it up. Have you seen Barney? Have we seen Barney? We thought he was with you. No, the last time I saw him, he was talking to you. How long? Where is Mr. Chavez? He went away. Went away? I saw him crossing the garden. For the jungle. Well, we should be back soon. Yeah, they use her for Dina. everything. He won't be back tonight. Till then, Hoysen, there's no use waiting. But what's he doing in the jungle at night time? It's suicide. Look, it's suicide for me, too, waiting for him. It's silly. I can't concentrate. Ten o'clock. I think we should send the servants out to find him. Something must have happened to him. It's no use. He won't be back until late. Then you tell Barney if he wants to sell his plantation to see me at my house. Tell him this is no way to behave. Running away without an excuse. Mrs. Chavez can sign the papers. She's the legal owner. She could? My husband's the boss in this house. 
Well, I wish my wife could hear that. You tell Barney to show up tomorrow or our deal is off. Yeah, true to form, as soon as I said the movie was more interesting, it got slow. <laughs> He says, I won't hold you. Well, yeah, he really likes it here. Body, you've been poisoned. Be it sure of it. Poisoned? He's been lying to you. Oh, don't tell me different. I've had my eyes open. Well, why should he? He's in love with you. There's nothing between Viet and me, and you know it. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm not happy here. I'm happy out there in the jungle. Bonnie, please. Why shouldn't I tell you? shouldn't I? Out there, in the jungle. Out there, everything's different. I seem changed. My hands, my eyes. I can see further than I've ever seen before. The smallest leaf on top of the highest tree. I can climb as if I had wings. Climb with wings? Flowers, plants, the animals. I'm strong, powerful. The jungle's my house. It belongs to me. Bonnie, listen to me, please. It's all in your mind. Bonnie, please listen. I love you. I can hear voices, voices miles away. The animals talk to me, and I understand them. I understand them. They're afraid of me. Afraid of me. Yes, I know. Bonnie, go to sleep. You're tired. Tired? Tired? Yes, I'm tired. I'm tired too. Very tired. night I'll show you the jungle <laughs> then you'll know I'm telling the truth what do you want we cannot go on working for you why not it isn't safe there's an animal around we are afraid we almost caught it in a trap but we got away now none of my men will go to the jungle anymore, as long as it is alive. <laughs> what does it look like? It, it looks like you've been rolling around in the dirt, is what it looks know. like. We just came to get our pay. We're going to move away from here. To get where some else plays. Sure. You can have your pay, I won't stop you. Yours, two weeks pay, that's all. Hands. What's the matter with my hands? It looks like dry blood. I, I, <laughs> Drink it down. What is it? Take it, it'll calm you. Don't ask questions. I'd be frightened if I weren't so unhappy. He uh, thinks he's a jungle animal. <laughs> what kind of animal? He says he can kill. He was rational up until a few days ago. You must face the truth, Dina. There's no sense in running away from it. I can't quite make it out. He'd act that way if he'd been poisoned. These natives have many ways of driving a man out of his mind. Uh, uh, there are drugs that cause uh, hallucinations, schizophrenia, 
manic depression. But who would want to poison him? And why? You know why. I don't. Taro thinks that Barney murdered Klaus. Viet. He's convinced of it. And you? I'm certain. Barney killed Klaus, and it was no accident. It was premeditated murder. You don't want to see it because you're... you're in love with him. I am in love with him. He has to be put away. He's dangerous. It might be his conscience that's driving him out of his mind. He likes the jungle. Believing that he's an animal, he thinks he has the right to kill. Sooner or later, he'll turn against you. I'm not afraid. But don't you understand? As long as you are alive... Be afraid. You'll remind him of his crime. I told him. I'm not afraid. Well, it's my duty as a doctor to have him placed behind bars. Your duty or your desire? You want to get rid of Barney. You're in love with me, aren't you, Viet? Yes. Since the first day, Klaus brought you to his house. I'm sorry. Don't you understand that I can't live without Barney? We belong together. my husband for better or for worse Servants have run away. They have. All the workers have quit. Everyone's gone. Why don't you leave? I can't. Sure you can. You're free. That's what Viet told me. That I can go wherever I want. That I'm free. He's right. I told him that I belong to you. And only death can part us. Death can't touch me. I just started to live. You don't know the jungle. Now I do. And I hate it. I hate it more than any woman that would take you away from me. What else did your doctor tell you? He said you killed Klaus. Did he? Taro thinks so, too. I don't care. They won't find me. I will. We've got uh, six minutes to wind this up. You wouldn't like it out there. You haven't got the eyes to see or the ears to hear. It wouldn't protect you. You hate it. That's why it hates you. Don't go. The jungle hates her? Let's stay here. Don't go tonight. We'll go tomorrow together. Remember the night you said you loved me? You said you'd always love me, always. You said you'd always remind me that you love me. <laughs> this, this screaming animal out there. <laughs> Well, so far, we haven't seen him. We haven't seen him as an actual ape, like except in the the mirror. Let's go back, Bonnie, please. I'll never go back. Haven't we? Never. Stop. What? Hey, wait. Go on. Why don't you shoot? You can't miss. But you won't make me go back. You and I don't belong together anymore. Goodbye, Dina. Bonnie! Dina, where are you? Dina! How long? Yeah, why did she pull the gun? Lorena! Carissa? And then he, this so guy wrong. shows up with a rifle. The servants must have gone, too. I expected that as soon as I found this. What is it? 
It's the pedigree implant. Al Long had it all the time. It's the poison she used on Barney Chavez. She wanted to take the law in her own hands. Dina must have followed Barney into the jungle. Right. Well, how can we find them at nighttime? I know my jungle, Doctor. Out there, my senses are those of an animal. Hello, D-Word. Come. You're coming in at the tail end of a bad movie. First half was pretty funny. Second half was just dead slow. Okay, now he's an actual ape. So she took off running into the jungle? That is Lon Chaney Jr., yes. Playing the local uh, chief of police, of all things. He's a literal gorilla now. It's in there. It just opened fire. <laughs> They hit him, but they didn't hit the girl. Well, I guess they didn't hit the girl. <laughs> that was really lame. D words, ten dollars. Awesome. Like something that has been haunting the world for millions of years. The jungle has risen to punish Barney Chavez for his crime. Boo. Jack Broder disappointed us. And he'll do it again. <laughs> D Ward, thank you for the the ten dollars. That gets us to fifty dollars. That's uh, twenty five percent towards our uh, our goal of two hundred dollars for today. Thank you so much. I'm glad you came in. Um, yeah, D Ward, he tampered in God's domain. <laughs> you couldn't tell from the shots that you saw, but that was Raymond Burr. Um. <laughs> Man, the last half of that movie had... The, the first half was kind of funny. It moved along quickly. The dialogue was stupid. Lon Chaney's bad acting. Um, the second half had no suspense at all, and it didn't build up to any payoff. Wow, there was no payoff to that movie. Okay, there, our next film at uh, 3 o'clock, which is almost half an hour away, is a Brooklyn Gorilla. The full title is uh, Bella Lugosi Meets a Brooklyn Gorilla. Um, 
which is a, a, a Jack Broder uh, production. So we're in for more of the same. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, but uh, we have, uh, yeah, we have a full half hour till the next film. So let me uh, let me switch out the poster here. <laughs> 